Roll 9006, slate 3. Within secret organisations, there are disputes. And these disputes can go on for, for a number of years. Sean, why were the CIA so interested in you? Well, I suppose I'm an enemy of theirs. Sean Garland, seen here in the scarf, was arrested by Garda detectives in Dublin this afternoon and a short time later appeared before the High Court to face possible extradition to the United States. As so long as there's capitalism, there will be exploitation. If the system is not changed, then changing governments doesn't do any good. The banks have robbed Irish people for long enough themselves, so maybe sometimes the reverse can be excused. The members have been shot dead by the provisionals, by the British Army, the IUC, the IRSP gang. The only way you could stop the provisionals was to inflict damage on them for what they were doing, but you couldn't allow your members to be murdered. The fight for freedom is a class struggle. The Republican Army, North and South, must become the army of the people in fact, as well as name. And we will not shrink from taking whatever action, popular or unpopular, to assist on the road towards revolution. We are making ourselves a political party of the working class who would be determined to establish a democratic, secular, socialist republic. But the hardliners, led by Sean Garland, and including some people with paramilitary backgrounds, opposed the leadership. They insisted on describing themselves as revolutionaries. Our primary concern was to protect our members. The only way we could do that was by having people who were part of our organisation, but would not be or openly so. The US government claims that the 77-year-old was the head of a group it calls the Garland Organization, which, although based here, was sourcing fake US $100 bills from North Korea and selling them on. Betrayal from inside is a very deadly thing. 